This bald man dropped the man on a tree, then kicked the stool away, calmly make a phone call. A Rolex fell off the man during the struggle. The bald man picked it up and showed his knife, but suddenly his throat was sealed with a knife. The bald man covered his neck, a face of disbelief. Looking at the man in front of him, he wanted to pull out a gun and shoot, but due to excessive blood loss, finally collapsed in a pool of blood. The man breathed a sigh of relief. His name was Rashi, like the curly guy in the car. He had offended a woman named May. He was kidnapped by a bald man and hanged in the countryside. After the incident, they decided to live anonymously again. But only two years later, Rashi received a call from Curly. Their new identities had been revealed. May had sent someone to kill them. Rashi rushed home, grabbed his passport and weapons and got ready. But just as he leaves the house, he is stopped by a fat man. The fat man gave Rashi an address. He told him to go there right away. Otherwise, his girlfriend would be dead. The second toe in command of the gang took Rashi to see the boss. Boss had heard of his reputation. He wanted Rashi to join him, but Rashi refused. Boss saw this. He picked up his cell phone and called them a. Rashi immediately conceded and agreed. But his first task was to poison boss's neighbor's tree. Rashi was confused. This boss is not normal. But under the threat of the boss, he was forced to accept. Just as he was waiting for his neighbor to leave the house to do it. But suddenly he received a call from the second in command. The fat man had an accident on the way to the deal. Due to the emergency situation, now it was needed to complete the deal. It didn't take long. The second in command sent for $140.000. Rashi drove to the destination and quickly closed the deal with Bearded. Got what boss wanted, but on the way home, the car suddenly had a flat tire. Just as Rashi was about to change the tire, a jeep came from far away, slowly stopped in front of Rashi. Rashi was looking at it curiously, but the car inside suddenly shot him away. It was Bearded from earlier. He wanted to steal the package from the boss. Rashi saw this and ran away. Bearded was in hot pursuit, followed into the tunnel. He fired a shot but did not hit, so he told his partner to split up as he continued his pursuit. But two shots were fired overhead. Then the jeep sped away. It it turned out that Rashi had gone around the back, killed Bearded's companion, but the jeep was hit by Bearded's fuel leak. It didn't get very far before black smoke came out. Rashi hit the car on the side of the road. Then he grabbed the package and continued to run away. He didn't know how long he had been walking. He came to a factory. After hiding the package in a junk car outside the factory, Rashi took out piles of money and went to the factory for help. At the same time Bearded was on the phone with the second in command. It turned out that the second in command was collaborating with him behind boss's back, wanted to swallow all the goods and dollars. At this time Rashi has entered the factory and found a sports car inside. He was about to break the window and steal the car, but he was stopped by the guard in the factory. Guard saw that Rashi was wounded, so he invited him into the factory. But at that moment, Rashi suddenly felt a dizzy spell. It turned out that his wound had become infected. The kind-hearted guard helped him remove the bullet. When the operation was finished, Rashi took out a pile of money to thank him but guard refused him he told rashi to get some rest then he turned around and left he thought he met a good man but when rashi was about to leave he found the door was locked tightly then guard appeared revealed his true face he guessed that rashi had more money he had already had bad intentions the man took the poison and injected it into guard's teacup then he trapped the table and blocked the door when guard came to the door with a gun rashi smashed open the back door with an iron bar and was about to escape Guard heard the sound and immediately broke into the door. But when he was about to grab Rashi, but Rashi kicked him unconscious. Rashi then took off the clip, limped, and continued to escape. But he was about to escape. But then he was suddenly hit by someone. It was Bearded who came after him. He asked Rashi where he had hidden the money. That's when Guard appeared behind him. Rashi reminded him, but he didn't believe him. He was sent to the hell by Guard with an axe. Rashi took the opportunity to escape and hide in the next room. Guard was ready to go. He was ready to drink some water first. But at that moment, he was suddenly attracted by a ringtone. It was Rashi's girlfriend calling. Guard pretended to be a doctor and lied that Rashi had been in a car accident. He told his girlfriend to come over immediately. Rashi was desperate, promised to give Guard all the money. But he has to keep the package because he has to take the package back to boss. But unexpectedly, Guard did not choose. He wanted it all. There was no choice. 
Rashi had to continue to find a place to escape. Guard pushed in the door. He kept shouting at Rashi. Then Guard grabbed a glass of water and took a sip. But soon he realized that something was wrong. Quickly ran to the sink to drink water to dilute. And Rashi took the opportunity to run out. He came to Bearded's body. But found that Bearded's gun had been taken by Guard. So it went back to the second floor of the warehouse. He found a screwdriver and prepared to fight back. But at that moment, a figure suddenly appeared behind him. He turns around and sees a girl tied up. The girl kicked him down, then grabbed the screwdriver to stab him. Fortunately, Rashi explained in time. This made the girl stop. Through conversation, Rashi learned that the girl had been tied up for five days. He tried to pry open the material on the girl's feet. But just then, there was a commotion from downstairs. Rashi quickly resealed the girl's mouth. Then he found a place to hide. It wasn't long before, Guard came in with a woman. The woman took a look at the girl. Then she started to talk to Guard about the price. It turns out that the Guard is also a trafficker. After a few people left, Rashi wrapped his feast in a bed sheet, broke the window and escaped. He opened the woman's van box. The whole person is stunned. This is also a game of organ trafficking. When the woman was ready to take the girl away, immediately found out that something was wrong. The woman pulled out a pistol. Then she opened the car door. But to her surprise, tens of thousands of hornets pounced on her. And the girl took advantage of the chaos to escape. On the other hand, Rashi found the keys to the sports car in front of the door. Then he found the girl. He was going to take her with him and escape. Karta also came after him. By now the woman's face was swollen into a pig. They followed the blood on the floor to a room outside. The two of them worked in tandem. After the countdown, Guard pulled open the door. The woman rushed in with her gun up. The woman asks Guard to save her. But at that moment, Rashi's girlfriend called. She said she would be here soon. But then, she was suspicious of Guard's screams. Guard told him to wait a moment. Then he covered the phone, turned around, and shot the woman dead. Imagine, the man smashes the car window. Then he takes the girl and speeds off. But Guard pulls out the remote control. The car immediately turned off. There was no way out. The two men had to abandon the car and run away. Rashi was wounded. So he let the girl escape first, he into a nearby container, but guard calmly came after him, a shot hit the girl, then guard used stones to block Rashi in the container, force him to ask the location of the money box package, he also used Rai's girlfriend to threaten him, because she had 20 minutes to arrive, there was no choice, Rashi had to tell the truth, watching guard leave with glee, Rashi found a shovel and dug a hole to escape, here Gart went back to the house to prepare his things, only to find his beloved handicrafts. Rashi had destroyed them all. He was furious. He got up and tried to kill Rashi. He tied the chains to the container. Then he stepped on the gas pedal. The iron box was turned into scrap metal. Fortunately, Rashi dug a hole in advance. That's how he survived. Guard picked up a stone and slammed it into Rashi. But when he was about to do it, boss came over with his men. Guard immediately kneeled down and surrendered. He became an honest man and said he was the victim. Boss did not know who to believe for a while. Then the second in command came out. Said Lotsi colluded with this group of people betrayed boss. Lassie was at a loss for words. Just offer the money and the location of the package for them to get. Boss took the package. He opened it and saw that there were several videotapes. He was overjoyed. Because it was from May, there must be a secret of great value inside. But when he brought the video recorder, it was playing cartoons. Boss was confused. More than 400000 to buy this thing. He immediately quit. Wanted to get back his $440.000. But the money bag that was supposed to be with the package disappeared. Even Rashi didn't understand. This reinforced his identity as a traitor. Boss tied him to the back of the car and dragged him around. At that moment, the girl suddenly drove by. She wasn't dead and took the money back. The crowd was attracted to the attention and Rashi took advantage of boss's inattention. He put the handcuffs that he had taken off in advance on boss's end. The second in command tried to shoot at Rashi, but guard suddenly sneak attack. And at this time, the fat man driving felt something wrong. Get out of the car to see the back of the car is their boss. He was so scared that he drove away quickly. Guard picked up the gun on the second to win command. When he was about to go after Rashi, the girl suddenly drove towards him. But Guard put out the engine with a few shots. On the other hand, Rashi had already arrived at the truck from the inside of a hunting rifle. But there was only one bullet in the gun. At that moment, Guard also rushed over. I thought I had killed Guard. But Guard stood up again. It turned out that only his ear was hit. He went to Rashi in anger. But Rashi suddenly threw a thunder roll. But Guard wasn't dead yet. Rashi calmly drove to the van. While dialing girlfriend's phone. While pushing past Guard. Finally Rashi's street with the packages of girls. Ended the farce once and for all.